flower of chivalry. Stretch and blast. Dark send the whip away those running stick. riot. Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous. Gaze at the host assembled before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. Come from far lands, here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Savor their titles of their presence, be proud. Halmerin, the Baron of Longfall. Linus of Metina. Rainfarn of Atra. Hormak a spark of Maked. Donimir of Troy. Guy de Boisfren, in service to the Duchess. Delwyn of Craigiau. Count Ty of Dondal. And say of Lyria and Rivia a prince. Geralt of Rivia. For Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer. The faint fire of silence, tawny champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe. Does ignorance demand a bard in deceit? Does someone need telling how tawnies proceed? How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother Meath, Queen of Lyria and Riffia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. The Tony's protector, the mate Vivian. Her beauty entrances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney. And only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed. Swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Before us, Geralt, from Rithia come. Fast as the wind, bright as the sun. That's it, Roach. Oh. And he's off. We the thunderous roar, hoofs pound the ground. No legion of drummers could make such a sound. A failure, a loss, a tragic trip. Let us hope with his sword he makes no such slip. Racing's never been my thing. That's okay. I sucked at it. Like, really Come bad. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together, wine in hand. Lead the way. I don't mind that I lost the race, though, because that's just the way I am. I've never, ever, ever been good on vehicle levels. Levels. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty's striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. To Vivian, may you find the means to aid her. To Vivian.
Ah, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose, and sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. Your presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel, then. Coward. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. Fine. No, some other time. I'm busy. I don't care. Got business to finish here. We'll duel another day. You cannot refuse another man's challenge. It is dishonorable. You would be excluded from the tourney. Then what will become of Vivian? Coward. Fine. Main arena. See you there. I hate mounted combat in this game. It's like the one thing I don't do. I don't do. I don't. I love Roach. Do not want to be on him though when I'm fighting or racing. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over with. Quick. Three. Two. One. There we go. Jerk. For reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it. You still going on about that? Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. <sighs> you mean to say you had a secret mission? Set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. You're a dick, dude. Seriously. Seriously. My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. Sadly, I know that this is going to be more than one LP, so I apologize now that I'm going to cut it at some point. A witcher I may not... That grey domed scoundrel ever seeking lady I don't know if I've already done it or if I will be doing it. All right, so we're coming up here. Hmm, 
strange. Was sure I'd find her here. Vanished. Melted into thin air. And that bird. She a Bruxa? Oh, I forgot Bruxa can change into... Flew off. Worth going after. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. Yeah, I gotta avoid the water, though, folks. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Witcher. Lady Vivian? Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa? A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters, and even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? Only thing I've figured out so far is you're no danger to anyone. Hope to learn more, though. If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Cause the Duchess trusts me? Cause I'm a freak too? Cause cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. Got nothing to fear. You got nothing to fear. Came here to help you. And I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Oriole sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it, and they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment, and when my parents said that they had nothing, it claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. What happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But fifteen summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially, only when the moon was full. But now, it's advanced so that even in daytime, I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus, I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. 
You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end, and bid my human form a final farewell. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent's life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Of course there is. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on a new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree, wholeheartedly. I see why, I understand. Don't have to decide just yet, think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we? Return. Let's. But are you gonna... Ah, uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. You can change it, Will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm, interesting. Come. <laughs> 